There is no shortcut to get the 300 issues of a comic book. Love it, like it, loathe it, whatever it is. You have to have respect for the journey that he's taken. Todd's a visionary. That guy literally came from nowhere. Out of nowhere. When I bought my first comic at 16, I just went, I got 300 rejection letters. Todd started out as someone that was rising up through the ranks that wasn't embraced by the people running Marvel at the time. Every time I tried to do something, they went, you can't. You can't. So I can't do panels that overlap. I can't have appendages come out. I said, break the rules and make it look cool. They wanted Spider-Man to shine. They didn't want Todd to shine. There have just become moments where I just go, if nobody's going to do it for me, I'll do it myself. Oh, yeah, I got this character. He's dead. He's from hell. And I'm calling him Spawn. It was completely unique. It was a game changer. So 1.7 million copies. Todd did for toys what he did for comics. He did it all on his own. It's Todd's brain. Success, for the most part, comes with a target. You can't be in the public eye as Todd is and not have people try to take you down. He nearly lost everything. Except I'm not going to get pushed around. I'm going to fight back. That's how Todd lives his life. What is the status quo? I don't care. This is where it's gonna go. I am relentless. I'm like a dog with a bone. I start corporations out of anger. Everything that he's done, it's, it's always pushing boundaries. It's, it's always, always pushing boundaries. Have I seen the view at the edge of the cliff? On more than one occasion. Never give up. Never take no for an answer. They're going to always try and say, it's not possible, don't do it. Don't listen to him. Todd had no fear, ever. I'm just getting warmed up.